Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to go through the setup process and review this mouse by HP. And the model on this one is X3000G2. And let me show you the different sides of the box. So here's the front, and here is this side, and then here is the back, and here is this side. And then on this side, they show what's inside. Also, here are the system requirements and the compatibility. And then here is the bottom, and here is the top. So make sure to read through all of this information before you do open the box. All right, guys, and before we begin, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. All right, guys, I'm going to take everything out of the packaging, and then I'll be back, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so inside of the box, we had the mouse, we had the wireless USB receiver, we had a AA battery, we had the instructions and the warranty information. And make sure that you read through the instructions and the warranty information before you do use the mouse. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is to install the AA battery. And to do that, we need to turn the mouse over. But before we do that, the laser light is on the bottom of the mouse, so you want to make sure that you do not point the laser light at any living thing. And then when we turn the mouse over, here is where the laser light comes out of, and here is the on-off switch, and make sure that the on-off switch is in the off position. And then here is the battery cover, and I'm just going to get a hold of the side of the battery cover and lift it up like so, and then we'll just set it off to the side for now. And then inside of the battery compartment, there is a plus sign on this side and then a minus sign on this side. So make sure that you install the battery the correct direction. And I also wanted to show you there's a space right here to store the wireless USB receiver when you're not using it. And I'm going to take this back out just because we'll be using it shortly. Okay, so now I'm going to install the battery and just make sure to install it the correct direction and that it's installed all the way into place. Okay, and now we're going to reinstall the battery cover. I'm just lining up this side first and then gently pressing down this side of the battery cover until it snaps back into place like so. All right, guys, so the next thing that we're going to do is to plug the wireless USB receiver into one of the USB ports on my laptop. And when you do do this, just make sure that you plug it in the correct direction and that it gets installed all the way into place. And I did get a message on my laptop saying we're setting up HP wireless mouse. Okay, so I put down a mouse pad just so there's no reflection off of the table, and then we can turn the mouse on, and then we can hold down the connect button for three seconds, and then we're going to test the mouse out. And we can see that the mouse is working now. And I'll let you listen to the sound of the buttons on the mouse so you know what they sound like. Here is the left button, and here is the right button. And here is the center scroll wheel. All right, guys, so here's my opinion of this mouse. I think that it was easy to set up, and I've only used it for a little bit of time, but I think that it was comfortable to use, and I do like the look of this mouse. All right, guys, that's just about it for this video, and I hope that it was helpful, and thank you so much for watching. And I do plan on making future videos about this mouse. I plan on making one if you're having problems connecting it to your laptop or computer, so make sure to check back for that video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.